Yo YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we'll be discussing the advantages and disadvantages of Goku's power in Fortnite. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as it'd be much appreciated. But yeah, let's get into the video, guys. Right, so starting off, the Kamehameha ability in Fortnite is overpowered as it allows you to literally one-shot your enemy players. As you can see in the clip provided on screen, I one shot two enemy players in a vehicle and killed them. Obviously there is advantages and disadvantages to the Kamehameha power. We will be discussing the disadvantages later in the video. But the first advantage is it allows you to one shot your opponents. As you can see here in this clip I two shot the player here. You know it's all about getting accurate with the beam. But once you do, you can literally damage your opponents easily. It's very good for wiping out players, but also inflicting a lot of damage and pressure on players. You only get three shots, and then you have to go and look for another one. There is also, like, many aspects of using the Kamehameha power to where it's strategically used. You can use it to inflict damage upon players, or damage structures as you can see I it was inflicted on me i had 184 health here and one laser beam with this and i was gone completely do you know so it's quite advantages to have you know if someone in your squad has it you know you could relatively wipe a whole squad easy another advantage to using the kamehameha power is that you can break through structures very quick so if you think someone's in a building or you want to flush an enemy out of the building just destroy the structure but as you can see here there is disadvantages to using the kamehameha power as you can see when you're using it you're in the air for a couple of seconds which leaves you at a disadvantage to be shot out of the air like you're about to see on screen right now this is the only disadvantage I've came across so far with using the Kamehameha power is that you're exposed in the air to other players that they can shoot you and put you down. So with the Kamehameha advantages and disadvantages discussed, I would say that it's a lot of reward and a lot of risk. You know, if you go up in the air for a couple of seconds, you are leaving yourself exposed to being knocked and if someone has a legendary 50 cal sniper or there's two 50 cal snipers aiming at you generally you're going to be knocked out of the air and that's the only disadvantage really to this so if you, so if you've enjoyed today's video guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as it'd be much appreciated and let me know in the comment section what's your thoughts on the kamehameha power do you like it do you not like it uh how would you use it and yeah, catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.